today is the last Saturday in April, and each month on the last Sunday, Black Hawk Bowman, just outside Boonville, Indiana, holds a 3D tournament. Now, I've been shooting out with Black Hawk since I was 16 years old. That goes back to 1974, and it holds a very special place in my heart. The guys that shoot out there are great. They're all dedicated to bow hunting and archery, and I enjoy nothing more than two or three Sundays a year when I shoot Black Hawk even yet. In addition, sighting my bow in, I was using a TM50 target mat. It's a new lightweight economical feeder mat that we've come up with. It's 50 inches diameter, 4 inches thick. As you can see, it stops my X-Force fine. I'm shooting at 30 yards. Uh, my X-Force is shooting around 300 feet per second. And these arrows have no lubrication, they pull great. And each TM50 is, is uh, backed up on the center with a power pad. The power pad is a ballistic material that is attached to the back of the target. As the center becomes worn, it prevents any pass-throughs, and it extends the life of the target to many hundreds of arrows. So I'm going to inside in and get ready for tomorrow. In addition to uh, showing you the TM50, just for your uh, viewing enjoyment, I'm going to add on to the back of this video a deer hunt that me and three friends of mine uh, taped back in 2005. It's over in Illinois. It's opening day gun season. And since I don't gun hunt, they asked me if I'd run a camera. Another friend of ours, Glenn Longaball, who uh, simply bow hunts too, doesn't gun hunt, ran another camera. So we had two hunters and two cameramen, and we really had a good time. As I said, it was uh, 2005, and the uh, opening day of gun season in Illinois. And I'll just let you watch it and see what you think. Well, thanks a lot for watching the video, and uh, you guys have a great, great weekend and a great year hunting, shooting, and enjoying the great sport of archery. side row.
went down right there. Man, it's getting cold too. We, uh, we've seen four or five does this morning and that buck must have been spooked. He come across the CRP and ran across this clover field that we've been seeing a lot of deer in. He gave me a good shot there about 30 yards, stopped just perfect. And luckily I made a good shot on him and man, this place is just great. I'm gonna get down and see what I got there. I think it's a pretty nice buck. He look awful good coming across that, uh, that clover field. Shoot, yeah. Nine pointer, a little crab claw. That's neat. Shoot, yeah. Kind of bladed there. Well, you can't beat this Illinois deer hunting. Fall over, or he wouldn't fall over. <laughs> Gotta wipe it. <that. laughs> <laughs> About getting ready to say, let's go get this deer. Help mark them out. <laughs> Look at him. Put the camera over here. They come. and dumpy. <laughs> I think I can see him. I left my binoculars back, but he's about 75 yards up ahead. Let's, let's get on down and let's take a look at it and put a guess and see what we got here. That'll work. Nice deer. Well, that's all right. Now we can catch up with Mark and Ralph. We'll see what he's got. Get these two guys together. We definitely know they got one down because we talked to them earlier. Here comes the two Bopsy twins. <laughs> well, not very many times does a plan come together when you talk about it, but here we come to help you guys out. Come jump up in that other stand after we've seen that buck. What do you think of there, Ralphie? That works. Not bad in a pinch. No. That definitely ain't the one we've seen down there. But it all happened so fast. I mean, Glenn said, here he comes, and I looked up, and the buck running at us. Let's go get out here. I want to go see yours, and we'll drag okay. them up, try to get some pictures together. We'll pull them up together, Sounds both of us. Like Sounds great, guys. Go back right. Let's go. Golly, what a nice morning. Great morning. Ah, good looking deer, Mark. Pretty deer. So you guys got to watch him quite a ways when you came. Man, this is awesome. Opening day, both of us kill. You call or we call on the phone and you killed a, a nice nine pointer, really nice. We come over to help you get it out and see a big buck coming over here. So we swing around and look what I end up with. Uh, worked out great. Hey, we just want to thank our landowner, Chris York. He's been great. I mean, he really give us some great area to hunt. Been just